in order to be able to run the fuck, you need to be able to communicate with your partner. Why is that so important, Carolyn? Well, imagine if I can't express what I need or express what I want. What if you went to a restaurant and you couldn't order something off the menu right. <laughs> and they just brought you food? So I feel like it's part of becoming a fully developed person, yes. right? That I can state my pleasure and state my needs and communicate with a partner. And it's the hardest thing to do because we've been silenced. Yes. Right? Yes, absolutely. Talking about sex is not normalized in our society, just in general, let alone with a partner or a lover. Like we just can't share. You know, there's a lot of shame and guilt surrounding pleasure. And even in sex education in school, all we get is education about our reproductive system and as, as girls, how not to get pregnant. So from the get-go, there is shame and guilt around our sex organs to begin with. So we don't even want to talk about that, that with each other. No, let's say, oh, I need some lubricant. Um, how do I bring a sex toy into the room? Oh, I like to verbalize fantasies. You know, if you're turning the lights on and things are just happening, right, then I'm not active mm -hmm. in yeah. that moment. And Betty talked about working with her therapist because she had that problem. She couldn't say to a partner, go a little lighter on my clit, or I want more of this, or that was really good. Why did you stop doing that? Go back to that. Those simple moments of mm -hmm. giving someone feedback, mm -hmm. right? That's so necessary for good partner sex. And her uh, therapist told her to look in a mirror and practice saying things out loud. Mm-hmm. How do you want to describe things? Do I call it my vulva, my pussy, my yoni? So finding the language that we're comfortable using mm -hmm. and then practicing can mm -hmm. be really important. And I think about, you know, my own sexual history, right? And in the beginning, when I was in my 20s and with a partner, mm -hmm. I was just so happy to be playing the game. Like, you know, <laughs> I was just so happy to be touched and kissed and hugged and fucked. I mean, you know, that was just, that was like, that was enough. My orgasm really didn't matter so much because mm -hmm. I, I really wanted that attention. And then as I got to be older, probably in my 30s, um, <laughs> I started wanting more, you know, I wanted to orgasm, but I really didn't know how to say it, like what I wanted, like what felt good. So I would think it like, oh, I really just wish he'd go back to like stroking my clit the way he did, you know, go back to the circles, but it would stay in my head. I couldn't get it out. Like I recognized it, but I couldn't say it. And I think in part is because I really wanted to please my partner, right? So, you know, I wanted him to have pleasure from touching me and I was worried about his ego and worried about, you know, just, just, I wanted him, I prioritized his pleasure over mine. So we weren't equals in bed. Um, and then, then I started to learn to communicate more. And at first it was just like a little bit of a whisper, but being with a lover who's responsive you know, when, when you do say, oh, could you go back to doing the circles on my clit and they do it right away, that's like reinforcing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and that's the kind of lover that I want to be with, you know, a lover that, that is willing to listen to me um, mm -hmm. and gives me what I want. I think that's most people because mm -hmm. we get so many men especially and women writing in and they'll say, how do I know if my partner is having a good time? What should I do? What are the steps? Because they really think everyone's the same and mm -hmm. everyone's different. And what I find pleasing is different. Now I orgasm is different. And they really want to bring their partner pleasure and they want to know that they've experienced pleasure. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're not speaking. We're being quiet. We're not making noises, no feedback. Everyone wants feedback. If you right. cook a meal and put it on the table, you would say, how is the lasagna? Like we all want to get that feedback. So giving someone feedback and letting someone know what you're feeling is not a criticism. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. And it's good to talk about sex in advance before you mm -hmm. begin. And I really learned that when I started in the BDSM community. 
because everything is negotiated. It is it is expected that you talk about sex. And what is the limit and how do you want to play and what am I consenting to? That's where Betty learned about the power dynamics within each sex act between two people. And there is. So it's like, how do you want to play? What is your limit? What you what do you want to do and what's off the table? These are healthy things that we should always talk about. I always like to do the recap Mm -hmm. after sex when you're laying in bed together. And I would ask, you know, how was this? How was that? And you kind of go, well, that was really good. Sometimes I thought something wasn't good because they were quiet and they'd say, oh no, that was incredible. (laughs) And I'd say, oh, I'm so glad I asked. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're not criticizing. It's like we're learning how to dance with each other. Mm Mm-hmm. And it can be very erotic to talk about what you were doing. And very often I would get aroused, we'd get aroused, and then we'd end up having sex again. Right, right, right. And I think of Betty and Eric in Orgasms for Two. They were trying out all kinds of different things, and sometimes Mm -hmm. it works and sometimes it doesn't. But it's always fun, Mm -hmm. right? And it's light when I'm able to communicate, and that goes back and forth. Oh, when you trade energies like that, there's nothing better. Mm -hmm. It's putting a sexual partnership on an equal level, an equal playing field, where you can both enjoy the activity together. It's not about prioritizing one person's pleasure over another person's pleasure. It's about having fun together. 